So here we have a large cone with a small cone removed from it, giving you the shape of a carton. And we have to find the volume of that carton, giving our answer to two significant figures. So let's just highlight what's going on here. Large cone. And small cone being removed from that. And these are the figures attached to the small cone. And these are the figures attached to the large cone. So let's look at strategy first. I think you'd agree that to find the volume of that carton, we'll find the volume of the large cone and take away the volume of the small cone. So we're as well stating that quite clearly. It's always good to give clear indication of what your strategy is. So the volume of the carton will be equal to volume of the large cone minus the volume of the small cone. Now in the exam you are given uh, this formula here that the volume of a cone is given by a third pi r squared h, where r is the radius of the base of the cone and h is the height of the cone. Now, if we look at the large cone, we're given the diameter. That's all the way across the base. It's upside down here, but this normally would be the base. That's the diameter, 32 centimetres. So the radius of this large cone, the base of this large cone, would be 16 centimetres. That's half of the... 32 centimetres. And here is the height of the large cone, 24 centimetres. And similarly for the red cone, the diameter of the base is 18, so the radius of the base would be half of that, so that's 9 centimetres. And the height of the small cone is given by 13.5 centimetres. So we can therefore do two calculations. The volume of the large cone, it's the green one, would be one third pi r squared h, and the volume of the small cone would be similar, one third pi r squared h. And if we put in the values that we just worked out for the large cone, that's a third times pi times the large radius is 16, so it's 16 squared times the large height, 24. And from that we have to subtract one third times pi times r squared for the small cone, that's 9 centimetres, so 9 squared times small cone's height, 13.5. So there's the calculation that we're going to perform. Let's get our, our calculator onto that. So first of all, one third, 1 divided by 3, times pi, which pi button, times 16 squared times 24. So we'll work out the two volumes separately. So there's the first one, which is 6433 point and on it goes 9, 8 and so on. Now we're only going to require the first two figures and then the third one for rounding purposes. So we've got plenty figures in there for the accuracy that were required. And let's do the second one. 1 divided by 3 times pi 
times, in this case it's 9 squared, times 13.5. And that comes to 1145.11, and so it goes on. So we'll need to perform that subtraction. We've got, uh, let's go back there, 64. 33.98 minus 1145.11 and that comes to 5288.87 so approximately let's get rid of this calculator approximately to two significant figures there's a five and a two but we're chopping this eight off in the tens column so it'd be five three hundreds five thousand three hundreds there's the decimal point so it's five thousand three hundred what we're saying with this two significant figures is that this volume 5288.87 and so on is nearer to 5300 than it is to 5200 if we had a line with 5200 on it 5300 on it then 5288 point something is around there it's nearer to 5300 than 5200 so that's to two significant figures and the measurement since everything's in centimeter and that's a volume it'll be centimeters cubed so there's our answer 5300 centimeters cubed to two significant figures mm -hmm.